Have you ever noticed the numbers on airport runways and wondered what they mean? As it turns out, these aren't random digits, but a coded language of aviation. They represent something far more significant, designed with a specific purpose in mind. And no, they're not just there for decoration or to add an air of mystery. So if you've been curious about these numbers, you're in the right place. Stay tuned as we delve into the fascinating world of airport runway numbers. To start off, let's clarify what these numbers are. Now, if you've ever been on a plane or even just seen a runway, you've probably noticed some numbers painted on the ground. They seem random, right? Well, they're not. They're actually incredibly important. These numbers represent the magnetic azimuth, or direction, of the runway's heading in degrees. You see, when an airplane is taking off or landing, it's crucial to know the direction of the runway. That's where these numbers come in. They're basically a compass for the pilots, showing them the runway's orientation in relation to magnetic north. Now, you might be wondering why magnetic north? Well, it's because the Earth's magnetic field is what compasses align to, and pilots, especially in the old days before GPS, relied heavily on their compasses to navigate. So it made sense to have the runways align with the magnetic compass readings. These runway numbers are always between 1 and 36, representing the full 360 degrees of a circle. They're rounded to the nearest 10, so a runway pointing directly north would be marked with a 01, while one pointing east would be marked with a 09. If the runway is oriented south, it would be marked with an 18, and if it's heading west, it would be marked with a 27. But wait, what if there's more than one runway pointing in the same direction? Well, in that case, they add a letter to the end of the number. Left runways get an L, right runways get an R, and if there's a third one in the middle, it gets a C for center. So, the next time you're on a plane, take a look at those numbers on the runway. They're not just random digits, they're a vital part of aviation navigation, guiding pilots as they take off and land. In other words, these numbers are a quick reference for pilots to know in which direction the runway points. Now, why are these numbers so important? Well, let's imagine the world of aviation as a vast ocean. In this ocean, pilots are like mariners, and just like mariners, they need their compass to navigate. For pilots, one of their compasses is the runway numbers. These numbers, etched onto the ends of runways, serve as an indispensable guide in the world of aviation. They're not there for aesthetics or random assignment. No, they have a purpose, a critical one at that. You see, runway numbers are based on magnetic north, which is the direction that the needle of a compass will point. Each runway number represents the compass bearing, a direction in relation to magnetic north. This allows pilots to know the exact direction they are taking off or landing from just by looking at the runway number. Let's put this into perspective. Imagine you're piloting a plane and you're about to land on runway 27. That number tells you that you're approaching the runway from a compass bearing of approximately 270 degrees or in simpler terms, due west. This is particularly useful in conditions of low visibility such as at night or during foggy weather. When the horizon is unclear, these numbers provide a clear direction for pilots, enabling them to align their aircraft accurately with the runway. Furthermore, the numbering system is universal. Regardless of where you are in the world, runway numbers follow the same rules. This consistency provides a common language for pilots, air traffic controllers, and ground crew, aiding in seamless communication and coordination. But it's not just about navigation. Runway numbers also play a crucial role in maintaining safety. They help prevent runway incursions, which is when an unauthorized aircraft, vehicle, or person is on a runway. By knowing their runway numbers, pilots can ensure they are at the correct runway, thereby avoiding potential disasters. In essence, runway numbers are a crucial tool in maintaining air travel safety. They serve as a silent guide for pilots, ensuring that our journeys whether we're heading home or embarking on an adventure, start and end safely. Now, let's take a trip around the world through its runways. As we jet off, consider this. Every runway around the globe tells a unique story through its numbers. These seemingly mundane digits are actually quite captivating when you delve into their meaning. For instance, let's touch down at London's Heathrow Airport. It's home to two parallel runways. 
zero nine left and zero nine right. Why the addition of left and right? Because these two runways run parallel to each other. The left and right help pilots distinguish between them. Up next, we fly to Brazil's Santos Dumont Airport, where the runway is numbered 02 right. This might seem ordinary, but the airport is located right in the heart of Rio de Janeiro, surrounded by mountains and the ocean, making it one of the most challenging runways for pilots to land on. The runway number hints at the precise compass bearing pilots must follow to land safely. Heading over to the United States, we find Denver International Airport. Its runway, 34 right, is the longest commercial runway in North America. At 16,000 feet, it's designed to accommodate the thin air at Denver's high altitude. The runway number tells pilots the runway's exact orientation relative to magnetic north. Over in Germany, Munich Airport's runway 08 right is known for its unique crosswind landings. This is where the runway number becomes crucial, as it helps pilots adjust their approach during windy conditions. Finally, we touch down in Australia at Sydney's Kingsford Smith Airport, where the runway 07 left is nestled right next to the city, offering breathtaking views of the Sydney Harbour Bridge and Opera House as planes descend. These numbers, as mundane as they may seem, tell fascinating stories about our world. From the direction they face to the challenges they present, runway numbers offer a unique glimpse into the world's airports and the cities they serve. But did you know that runway numbers can change? A surprising fact, isn't it? You might be thinking, how can numbers on a strip of concrete change? Well, let's delve into this mystery. Runway numbers are not just random digits. They are closely tied to the Earth's magnetic field. In fact, they represent the magnetic compass bearing that a pilot would use to align their aircraft with the runway. But here's the catch. The Earth's magnetic field isn't static. It gradually shifts over time due to the movement of molten iron within the Earth's outer core. This phenomenon, known as geomagnetic secular variation, can cause the magnetic bearing of a runway to change. For instance, let's take a look at what happened at Palm Beach International Airport in Florida. The airport had to update its runway numbers in 2014. The runway that was previously designated as 9L27R became 10L28. R. This change was necessitated by a shift in the Earth's magnetic field that altered the runway's magnetic bearing by a whole degree. Similarly, in 2011, the Fairbanks International Airport in Alaska had to redesignate its runway 1L19R as 2L20R due to such a shift. Now, these changes might seem minor, but they are crucial for the accuracy of navigational systems and the safety of flights. You might be wondering, how often do these changes occur? The answer is not very often. The Earth's magnetic field changes slowly, and a significant shift that would require a runway number change might take several decades. However, airports regularly monitor these shifts and update their runway numbers as needed to ensure accuracy and safety. This just goes to show how dynamic and ever-evolving the world of aviation is. What does the future hold for runway numbers? As we move into an era of rapid technological advancement, the aviation industry is no exception. The runway numbers we've grown accustomed to, those two or three digits painted on the tarmac, may face a transformation in the not-too-distant future. The traditional method of numbering runways based on the compass and magnetic north has served us well for many decades. But as our navigation systems become more sophisticated, we're beginning to explore other options. One such possibility is moving from magnetic references to a true north reference system. This change is not as radical as it may seem. In fact, GPS systems, which are becoming increasingly prevalent in aviation, use true north as their reference point. Adopting this system for runway numbers would bring a greater alignment between on-ground and in-flight navigation systems, potentially increasing accuracy and safety. But the shift to true north isn't the only change on the horizon. Some experts are proposing a move to GPS-based numbering systems. These systems could provide more detailed information, such as the exact location of the runway's threshold and its precise orientation. As technology evolves, so does the language of aviation. The numbers we see on runways today may look very different in the future, but whatever form they take, their purpose will remain the same. To guide pilots safely to their destinations, and that's a future we can all look forward to. So, the next time you find yourself gazing out of an airplane window, 
Spare a thought for these humble numbers. Marvel at their simplicity and yet their immense importance. Next time you're at an airport, take a moment to appreciate the hidden language of runway numbers. Who knows, you might even impress your fellow travelers with your newfound knowledge. Until next time, safe travels.